What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Goodview Woodworks channel. My name is Nathan and this video, this is part two of the Curly Cherry River Table build and we're gonna get to pouring this epoxy. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up our two parts. The epoxy is a two to one ratio, which is two parts epoxy, one part hardener. We're gonna mix them up in the ga uh, five gallon buckets here and then we're gonna get to pouring. You ready? Let's go. <clears throat> we're gonna be using Incredible Solutions Pourable Plastic. They reached out to me and provided us with this three gallon kit. It's gonna take most of the kit to do this project, but we should have some left over. Hey guys, if you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button. Also, ring the bell for all notifications. And do me a favor, check out in the description below, I've listed the Incredible Solutions epoxy, the casting epoxy. I, made, I put a link down in the description. And I've also, they've also given me a discount code, which is GoodView10WW. And it's good for 10% off all of their products on Amazon. So go down in the description, click that, and go get yourself some casting epoxy. <clears throat> so all of this. Yeah, we're going to be using all of the base resin and half of the curing agent or hardener, gotcha. which is part B. I always pour part B first um, because it's thinner. That's okay. And then the thicker stuff will push it, push it around. It's better to mix that way. So, this whole thing is kind of, is that it says two and a half quarts, so you'll see on the graduations there, you got two, two quarts right there, right? Liter. Two liter. Oh, where's the quart measurement? It says two and a half quarts. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, right there. 64 ounces, two quarts. Okay, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, we have uh, the table set up in the mold here. Um, we have each side clamped down. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just don't want it to float in the epoxy. <clears throat> also, we taped up our blocks here so they don't stick to the board when we fill this void up. This is going to take about, we're going to do in two pours, it'll take about a gallon and a half for the first pour, and then we'll do a, a clear pour, which is another gallon or so. Okay, that's ready to mix. Yep. All right. Quartz. Yep, and then we'll just pour that in the bucket. So with Incredible Solutions Pourable Plastic, you can pour up to two inches thick in a single pour. We're not going to do that this time, but that's why this stuff is cool. If you have a fan and you cool the temperature down in your workspace, you can actually pour it up to three inches, but that's not recommended by the manufacturer. And then we'll just pour that whole thing in there. It kind of chugs, so I've yeah. got it on my lip. You've got <laughs> it <laughs> squirted on my lip. One. <laughs> it's disgusting. If you get my knife, you can stab the bottom. Yeah. There you go. Noise. She's off. Is it on? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, just it the screen doesn't stay on, so it saves battery. Gotcha. Is that good for you? Yeah, it's good for me. Yeah. Alright, when you mix it, keep it on um drill level one uh, so we don't get so many bubbles in there and once you mix it for like three minutes with that drill mixer uh -huh. then we'll add the color into it okay sound good yep should i put your instagram handle in here 
you want. <laughs> I'll, I'll link it in the description. If you guys notice it's two colors, you can kind of see the streaking in the epoxy. We want to mix it till it's solid. Always remember to scrape the sides and the edges and the bottom so that way you don't have any unmixed epoxy because if you pour that and it's unmixed it will never cure we don't want that all right so what colors are you gonna be using uh, got color FX ripe red pearl and just some PPG pearls uh, rad red russet red and copperhead chameleon shift pearl what what colors it shift between it's um like a red coppery orange. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know if you can Yeah, you can kinda see it in the Yeah. So start with the bright. How much you gonna put in there? It doesn't take much. Yeah. Especially with thick pores. The thicker you pour it, the less pigment you need. With that, because that's the bright. Nice. And let's go with this. They're almost exactly the same. I, I can't know, I can hardly tell the difference. Let's do a smidgen. And I've actually been wanting to use this for a while, nobody The chameleon? Yeah. Yeah. People always don't not get down with the. I like the chameleon thing. stuff. Nice, that's cool. Yeah, I think that'll be more than enough. Yeah. All right, sweet. Yeah, and then when you put your drill on there, press it down into the bottom first so it doesn't all float up in the air. There you go. Do you want it higher? You want it thicker than that? Thicker than that? What do you yeah. Mean, as far as no, that's good. That's perfect. Oh, okay. All right. All right. There you go. Should have done more pearl. Think so? Yeah, that'd be fine. You can always put a dark background on the bottom. It'll make it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It'll make it shimmer, especially those chameleon colors. So.
Got a little bit of action going on there. That's probably because it's leaking underneath. That's right. All right, now we'll just let it sit and let it set up and get ready for our second pour, which would probably be in the next day or so. So now comes the fun part, we get to pour. So now that that's poured, we're gonna turn this torch on, get these bubbles, and should be good to go. The final layer of the river part poured it's nice nice and glassy um, I pop all the bubbles and because this stuff cures really slow um, it's gonna let it sit probably over the weekend and let it cure up and Monday we'll go on to the next step but it's definitely coming out really well all right guys, so next step is to demold this joker. <laughs> I'm actually holding, I don't know what it's gonna look like, but I think I'm too close. If you uh, got your phone updated from 2004 to 2020. <laughs> See all the juice under your foot? That I'm stepping in? Yeah. You were just gonna let me step in that? No, I was letting you know. That's why I said something. If I didn't say no. you let me you waited, you waited for me to step in it. And then you're like, hey man, you're stepping in that. I didn't notice, I'm looking through the camera. <laughs> What's the camera looking at? It's not looking at me? Not your not your feet. Oh dang. You got all the screws out? Not this side. What the heck was that? What was what? Something just dripped from the ceiling and landed on the paper. Bird feeding? Yeah. It's a cool color, man. Yeah, it worked out. Worked. It worked out. Hit it hard. There you go. Dang. 
See, that stuff releases pretty well from the epoxy, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, we'll see. Just, yeah, smack that thing. There you go. Ooh. What? We can fill that. Well, you gotta, we're gonna be cutting. Yeah, we're gonna be cutting down. We'll fill that. Yeah. That's not a big deal. Ooh, I scratched it. Oh, I meant this, the, uh, the clamp. Mm-hmm. Got she, epoxy on it? Yeah, she was sacrificed. Oh, why? Uh, is it broken? No, not broken. You'll see. Oh, the little... The, little... the rubs is the, yeah. is, uh, epoxy to the bottom of the hole. That's right. All right, so what you guys didn't see in the video is my failures to seal. So what you guys didn't see in the video was Justin wanted a little bit of depth to his uh, piece. And so you can see a line right here. So he poured clear on top of the color. And I think it actually, it did give it some depth. depth. It's actually really cool. So you can kind of see it there, you can see the difference. But it looks really nice from the top. It's a good idea, Justin. <laughs> there you go, just, yep, just pry, that's all you gotta do. Now hammer that one, hammer that big one in. There you go. I'd do it from here too, because it's like a lever. You're gonna be able to you'll be able to peel it up once you get this end. Alright. Yeah, just peel like put your put your uh, thing back in there and push down on the handle. There you go. There you go. Nice. Now you can lift up on that joke. Yep, now just put your hand on the wood on the bottom. Yep, and lift up on your. There you go. Sweet. There you go, bro. Now you can hold it up. Look at that. Dang. Nice. Noise. Curly cherry is real pretty. Well, that gives you a good idea what it's gonna look like once mm -hmm. the top's done. Yep. Nice, dude. Can you hold this for a second. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, be sure to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and stay tuned to the next video because we'll show you how to plane this thing down and get it finished, put some legs on it. All right, as always, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Peace. This is part two of the Curly Cherry River, Tabor, River Table Build. I mess up every time. <laughs> Curly Cherry River Table Build.